the Balkans. Through his excellency, the ambassador, with whom I had the honor to exchange views on the ground of this year's international affair of Thessaloniki, I want to extend my gratitude and congratulate all those who contributed their best for that successful project that triggered much stronger political and economic ties between our countries. However, it is only within a secure and stable environment that growth and prosperity can be proved viable, sustainable, and resilient. The recent turmoil in the East Mediterranean, a geopolitical crossroad, reminds us, the whole, the entire the international uh, community, that we must stand decisively against any action or even attempt for derailment of global stability. The tragic events and the thousands of victims after the recent terrorist attacks against Israel are causing international uncertainty and concern, and we must all act towards restoring peace and justice. For the sake of innocent people in the war zones, for the sake of mankind, for the sake of international rule of law, which is the foundation for development and progress. In such solid grounds of mutual respect and common values, we want to further develop our relations with the United Arab Emirates and bring our cooperation to even higher levels. We already have strong intergovernmental relations and an arrangement to enhance uh, bilateral trade with more than 50 agreements in areas such as infrastructure, renewable resources, healthcare, the pharmaceutical sector, food products, agriculture, and logistics. Regarding the latter, we are, we are already in the process for the advancement of the Port of Thessaloniki and the creation of big logistics centers projects that will make Northern Greece an entrance gate for the Balkans and the Central Europe. But there is also a great potential for partnerships in the field of renewable energy sources, given the fact that our countries are highly dedicated in the target of net zero carbon dioxide emissions by 2050. A priority that is very high in the agenda of our government with the implementation of the Just Transition Development Program in the Western Macedonia region, my home place. Our aim is to transform the regional economy into the greenest area, leaving behind us the high environmental costs of yesterday and gaining the benefits of such a transition. These two areas can provide a wide range of opportunities <coughs> for our business communities, enabling them to benefit from established, from established economic and even create new sustainable relations, uh, strengthening the, that way our strategic partnership. The roadmap is uh, ready and uh, can be maximized, maximized thanks to Dubai Multi-Commodity Center, the largest free trade zone in the United Arab Emirates with more than 21,000 registered members. With these thoughts, I wish successful, uh, a successful event and uh, I would like to welcome you once again and uh, reassure you that initiatives, initiatives like uh, today's uh, bring uh, our countries closer and helps for a stable and fruitful cooperation in all uh, aspects of uh, common interest. Thank you very much.